No, no mind. Oh, there we go. Bro, I don't understand. Which game's better, Left 4 Dead or Back 4 Blood? Uh, Left 4 Dead, no question. Nah, I'm joking. Um, no, Back 4 Blood. No back 4 Blood is its own game, so I wouldn't no, I compare the two. Left 4 Dead, no like, question. It got, cause back 4 like, Blood's cool. Bro, like, if, if you really want to get into the discussion, like, I'm honestly fine with it, because, like, I'm, I'm kind of passionate about this shit. Turtle Rock Studios tried a little bit too hard when they were making Left 4 Dead, I mean, uh, Back 4 Blood. Left 4 Dead 3, and my Left 4 Dead just crashed, All right, sweet. Back, uh, Turtle Rock Studios tried, tried way too hard when they were making Back 4 Blood, because, first of all, like, when Valve gave them the rights to make a, well, I, I don't know if they actually gave them the rights, but when they, like, were able to make a Left 4 Dead related game, they decided to call it Back 4 Blood, therefore making the title similar, making some of the game mechanics, like the safe rooms, the fucking, uh, hanging on a cliff, the incapacitatings, the health kits, the pills, the fucking molotovs, all that. That made it so a lot of people were just gonna hold it up to a higher standard. And due to the details in Left 4 Dead that are missing in Back 4 Blood, it's just like, it's not the same. It's more like a Call of Duty Zombies, but the Zombies maps are campaigns. It's just, I don't see it as another Left 4 Dead. So when people say like, oh, Back 4 Blood's better than Left 4 Dead. In terms of graphics, yeah. Like, the graphics are way better than Left 4 Dead, but a few add-ons to make the graphics look better in Left 4 Dead, and Left 4 Dead just becomes a better game. Total Rock Studios tried to put the Left 4 Dead algorithm into Back 4 Blood, but it didn't work. Because, like, in Left 4 Dead, if the game's too easy for you, the game director will just be like, okay, we'll send some more zombies their way and some more special infected. In Back 4 Blood, it's, the game's too easy for you, okay, I'm gonna keep it easy for you, and then randomly just bring in a horde, and then keep bringing in a horde, and then randomly, oh no, you've just got, you, you, you the game's easy again. Because fuck you, I don't know. That's facts. So As like, a guy who hasn't played Back for Blood properly, I agree. Yeah. Left 4 Dead is 110% better than Back for Blood. Yeah. Because like, you got the animations of the zombies, the different, an like, reloading animations of the guns in Left 4 Dead 1. The, the director, which is what they call, like, the, the zombie spawning system itself. Which is way better than whatever they've got in Back for Blood, which I think Turtle Rock was just trying to copy the Left 4 Dead one. If not, like they got position, uh, they got permission to use it. Other than that, yeah, it's just um, Back for Blood. It's its own game. Like let let's say I'll go into the Back for Blood page on Steam. It is going for eight dollars and ninety nine cents, and my Steam just crashed. That's great. So. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be like 80 bucks and it's going for eight, it's going for nine bucks. I bet you that sale is not going to stop when, once this promotion ends. Cause it's, it's just bad. Like the, the, there's no one playing on the servers. It's just really like, it's dead. It's a dead game. They kind of failed with Back for Blood really. Yeah, they did. It looked good in the, in the yeah. trailers and stuff though. Like something that really pisses me off. Back for Blood is a thrilling cooperative first-person shooter from the creators of the the creators of the critically acclaimed Left 4 Dead franchise. Valve carried that shit to the moon, and you've got I don't know if it was like one of the lead game directors or something, like the lead game designers, whatever the fuck, whatever his name is. He was saying how like we've had to sit by for the past ten years and watch other people sort of riff on something that we created as creators of like yes you created the name back in fucking what 2007 2008 but you did not go with valve's creative interests which ultimately ended up being the best decisions that will ever be for your game so it's valve's game now like to, like when valve decided okay the rights for the left 4 dead are ours now but you can still be your own dependent company you just can't make any left 4 dead related games they were they had the right to do that because they made left 4 dead better they they brought it to its full poten potential and total total next studios is here like oh oh no what did they do what are they doing with our game our baby like fuck off damn that's my rant hella passionate it's so like I, I saw I saw a video where someone's like where, uh, titled uh, "Back for Blood proves why Valve, why Valve carried Left 4 Dead," and at the end of the video, it said they say like they go on the Steam page and they use like Inspect Element or something to change like the sentence. They like remove the sentence that says the creators of the critically acclaimed Left 4 Dead franchise. They remove all that and they just replace it with from the creators of of Evolve. You can't play it anymore because I can't see I can't find it on Steam anymore. If it already was. Is it even up anymore? It might just be an Xbox game, but yeah. So Evolve is a first person if you don't know what it is, it's a first person shooter game. 
I think. And it's like, it's more like alien. It look, it look, it sort of looks like aliens more than zombies. But yeah, they just changed it from the creators of Left 4 Dead to the creators of Evolve because that's basically what it is. Like that, that's all Turtle Rock's going to be now because Valve, they, they let themselves team up with Valve to create the Left 4 Dead games, but then Valve made them better. And so Turtle Rock can cry all they want, but they're not getting it back. But I'm still pissed at Valve for not caring, for not giving enough of a shit to make a Left 4 Dead 3. Uh, until, until we get a Left 4 Dead 3, I don't think we could probably say which one is better because Back 4 Blood is its own game. And so, when we get an updated version of Left 4 Dead, yeah. When you say aliens, all I think about is COD Ghost Extinction. <laughs> right. Yo, yeah, COD Ghost Extinction is fire, man. Yeah. That's COD Ghost is fire. Level, COD, COD Ghosts is probably the, the best Call of Duty game ever. No, but like, genuinely? I mean, like, I'm, I'm not saying genuinely as in I agree. Clarify. But like, COD Ghost, I was literally having this conversation with um, some of the guys before, is the most underrated Call of Duty in the world. Bro, Extinction is such an original concept. Like, every Call of Duty is known to have a third mode. And for Modern Warfare, it's survival or co-op. Yeah. For Black Ops, it's zombies. For Ghost, Extinction. And Extinction is so good, bro. People just didn't like it. Oh, bro, that, that reminds me so much. The the video that I referenced earlier about um Back for Blood proving why, why Valve carried there was like a there was like a part in the video where it's like there there's there's like someone in the press doing an interview with uh with people at Turtle Rock Studios or like a streamer or something, and they were like, so is there going to be anything related to like modding the game or like some or some other type of like community creations for the game? And then the guy was just basically like, nope. Uh, we're not, we're not doing, like, any of that for, for Back for Blood at this stage. They didn't That's end up ever doing whack. it anyway. Like, if, if they intended on doing it later, they're not doing it now because the game's dead. Because they cancelled, they, they, they cancelled all, like, production for the game, like, last year, I think. Or, like, 2022. So, maybe, like, a year and a half after the game released. And then another thing was, oh, we created this super cool versus mode where Infected... You like players can play as infected, but instead of it being like Left 4 Dead, we have two maps created specifically for this game mode that you are forced to play because we're not letting you play any of the campaigns as infected. You can only play these two maps in this one designated area and you just have to see which team survives the longest as the survivors. Yeah, it's kind of poop. Yeah, so like the, the infected kills the survivors, and then whoever lasts the longest of survivors when they swap wins. Like, what the fuck? Look, that's not a versus mode, bro. Proper versus is being able to choose what campaign you want, and then playing as infected. Because that's what I always did. I always swapped to the infected team, no matter what, and it always annoyed the people that I was playing with. Yeah, that kind of just ticks me off, bro. Facts. I might even just clip that and turn it into a video. I think I talked for, like, what, five minutes? Yeah. Post on YouTube, just like ran Fuck about back, for, back blood, for blood. That's the title, yeah. <laughs> that would honestly, you know, they'd yeah. get pretty popular. I think yeah. I wish back for blood. I mean, what fuck BO2. <laughs> <laughs> I wish BO2 turn mode was in more BO games. Uh, I really don't. I think it was overrated, man. I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know about turn that. Turn was interesting. Turn. So, uh, in case you don't know, if the BO2 turn is like if you have like four people, yeah. there'll be one person who's a human being, and then the other three are zombies. And the whole point is that the human has to like. There's like a time limit, and the human has to like kill as many of you guys as possible, like because you keep on respawning. And yeah, every yeah. time they get a kill, they switch weapons. And the higher weapons they go, the more points they get. And whoever, whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins. Uh, it's just like, I don't know. I feel like if it's done properly in another Call of Duty, I think it'd be it'd be fun. But I just, it just wasn't like, I didn't really enjoy it that much when it was in Black Ops 2. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know much. I don't know enough about it to just be like, oh yeah, I agree. Or no, nah, that's fucked. So I'm just gonna, what it, like, Alex, if you want that, that's fine. Some people may think it's overrated. I don't know. Okay, someone made a made an add-on for Left 4 Dead 2 where it turns the rescue chopper into coach.